Good afternoon. Welcome to the Moss Love Yarn Podcast. It's Thursday. Today is December 20th. It's the third day before Christmas. It is. I know. I, it's uh, like all of a sudden here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I did realize that when I mailed Christmas boxes that had to go to the West Coast yesterday. Mm-hmm. Apparently they'll get there Saturday, which is surprising. I mailed out some Christmas cards today. Oh, that was so good. Good job. I haven't done Christmas cards in forever. I have done Christmas cards since uh, before I had kids. Oh. Mine wasn't that long ago. Go figure how those things are related. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, yes. um, so this is a knitting and spinning and yarn related podcast mm-hmm. uh, that we bring to you from our yarn store in Shelburne, Vermont. Uh, and you can find the store and uh, everything about the store out on all forms of social media and the World Wide Web as Must Love Yarn. Mm-hmm. Feel free to uh, follow uh, and like or whatever the verb is for whatever social media platform you're on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Join our group on Ravelry. Yep. Um, we have a fun group over there. We do. Lots of it's fun things It's growing going and on. very... It's Chit-chattery. Yeah. Yeah. It is. That's great. Yep. Um, and I'm Angela. And I'm Kelly. And you can find me out on social media, Ravelry and Instagram as Junior Bird Kid. And you can find me on Instagram as Kelly O Spins. And you can find me on Ravelry as Kelly Spins. And feel free to uh, follow our, us on either of those uh, social yeah, media platforms. Definitely. Yeah. It's mostly nope. knitting on my Instagram. So. And this um, little lady here, this is Gage. This is our podcast and store mascot um she is a meerkat and she has two visiting she, friends she has two friends with because they were having a knit group sean and yoda, yoda. <laughs> uh you can you can find gage out on instagram as mly underscore gage underscore meerkat and she gets into fun shenanigans mm-hmm. out there so yep Oh, look, you can see all the new wing and a prayer farm yarns right here. Ooh. They're so pretty. Those are all naturally dyed hard to conic twist, which is a sport weight. So nice. it's all online now. Cool. Yep. Sweet. And Hayden and Olivia as well, which is a, um alpaca blend, which is lovely. Nice. Yep. So we like to start our podcast with our pick of the week. Mm-hmm. And the way that works is for the next two weeks... Uh, you would get 10% off with the uh, coupon code that we're going to give you, uh, either in-store or online. Um, and if you need a quick tutorial about where the code, code, where the code goes, <laughs> where the code goes, uh, we did that in episode 73. Yep. So, and our fun pick of the week this week is, dun, 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 it's one of our local yarns. Yep. Green Mountain Spinnery. Green Mountain Spinnery. Yep. And we ha- we have so many different lines of their yarn now. Mm-hmm. We do. I so know. it's any of our Green Mountain Spinnery yarns. So that includes Weekend Wool, Mountain Mohair, Music, Sylvan Spirit, Sylvan Alpaca Spirit, Elegance, Alpaca Elegance, uh, Cotton Comfort, Comfort, New Mexico Organic. I think we've only got two skeins of that left, but so the um, Weekend Wool. This weekend wool, I believe, and um, mountain mohair are both worsted weight, yep. and all the rest of them are DK, are DK. weight. Yeah, yep. and there's a lot of great patterns out there. There's some new ones that have come out. Mm-hmm. Mina did her hat collection. Mm-hmm. There's um, a new sweater pattern. Yeah, the Coleman. Yeah, the Coleman did that was in the yep. Pom Pom magazine. Yep. Um, yeah. So, or was that one? Or was it the Noragon one? Oh, maybe it was Noragon. Who Maybe. did that pattern? Th- they had it up at Rhinebeck. I can't. Mm-hmm. One of those people did a pattern. They both do a lot of cable, like gorgeousness. <laughs> so that was yeah. out of the weekend wool. Yeah, it um, was. It was. So they they do lovely yarn down there they at do. Green Mountain Spinnery. Yep. So. so hop on over and check these out if you're interested and yes. i like this one the weekend wool they do they have a marled one. Ooh, that's fun so i think this one's called rag that's super fun so yep looks like we have, rag this is just a little sampling we have tons of colors mm-hmm. and just it was 
too yeah. many to bring over, but we just thought we'd give a little yep. taste. Yep. So yeah. what is our code going to be this week? Oh. Oh, I don't know. Weekly pick green. Yeah. That's where I was going. <laughs> I mean, that's the easiest. Yeah. Weekly pick green. <laughs> Like your Christmas Let's not tree. like hurt our brains today. I, oh my god, I know, right? <laughs> Let's get this easy on ourselves and them. I was gonna do spinnery and then I was like, well, I might have trouble spelling that right now. <laughs> Is there one or two? <laughs> Weekly pig green. Easy. That works for me. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to stick to our just like chit chat format and uh-huh. where we're just like la la la. La, la, la. So what you wearing today? I'm wearing my Sigla. Noise. Yes. It is nice. a Mary Jane Mucklestone pattern and it is knit out of the Let Lopi. And I made this what last year, I think. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. And um I'm wearing my on the spice market. Which I did not complete during the On the Spice Market Pal. <laughs> I didn't even cast one on. But I did f- eventually um, finish it, and I'm very glad that I did, because I wear it all the time. Yep. It goes with so much of my wardrobe. Nice. <laughs> and plus it's super warm and super soft. Mm-hmm. So. And it's a fun pattern in it. Right. It looks really complicated, and it's not. So. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a really quick sweater. It took me like two weeks to knit, so if you're looking for a really quick pattern, I mean, you probably wouldn't want to do it before Christmas, but since there's only five days left, but... Well, or you could. Or you could. You Challenge could. accepted. No, just right. <laughs> right. Yeah, and I did it in two weeks with like, you know, actually having a normal day and eating food and sleeping, so yeah. <laughs> I suppose if you didn't want to do any of those things, then you could do it before Christmas. <laughs> That's like um, Fairy Little. She did the um, the the challenge where she knit a sweater in twenty four hours, and what? this yeah yeah yeah. So she's actually she posted it on her YouTube channel. Oh my god! Um, and so you could. This is one of those where you could because you're knitting it on big needles. It was knit on like size ten and a half needles, and if you just sat and literally knit for a day, you could definitely do it. I mean, unless you're a really slow knitter. And then you might not be able to. But even if you're like a moderate knitter, I bet you could. That's, yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> Angela's still thinking I'm about not, knitting the sweater like, in 24 hours. Can I do that? <laughs> hmm. It would really depend on your sweater choice, yeah. I think. I was going to say, my family would probably think that was a very bad idea. I would probably get the, like, what are you doing again? You'd have to do it sometime when your family wasn't around, like, at yeah, that, all. Yeah, I don't know when that time would ever be. <laughs> like, you guys go camping this weekend. Mama's staying home and knitting a sweater in a day. And, a and then the next day I'm just going to sleep and <laughs> do nothing. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I have a couple of finished objects. I have three. I have one that's not yeah. even on the list, but I don't have them with me because I already mailed them away. Um, so somehow the bonnet made its way onto the finished object list again, even though it <laughs> really oh, was a FO last week. Uh-oh. Well, you know. It's all right. Um, I finished the ruffle skirt. I don't have it. It had to go in the mail. Um, I put pictures up on my project page page which are linked in show notes so if you want to check that out mm-hmm. or stick around for the end part I was just kind of showing pictures mm-hmm. so uh, I'd finish 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 the little dress I got the button sewn on like been fishing made a couple pom-poms made some tassels nice some braided ties for that other hat been doing that kind of stuff yeah Getting the bits and bops cleaned up. Yeah, that's nice to kind of wrap up your year with yeah. getting stuff. And I was cleaning up my Ravelry page, too. There's some stuff out oh, there yeah. that I was like, so why is this not hibernating? Like, why is it cluttering up the front part of my project page? I'm not working on this. I'm I not doing it. Like, I just need to move it. So I was doing some of that. I have a couple things that, like, I know I finished that green that green sweater, the 
um, slouchy pullover one that we Oh, yeah. In. Yep. It's still it's showing nice. as an unfinished object That's on so my funny. project page. And I think the reason why is I try not to switch the account to finished until I've put in the finished pictures. I do that a lot, too. Yep. Um, so I've been actually taking pictures of me mm. wearing it or even it, of it completed. Yeah. Um, so I hadn't flipped it over to, to being finished, even though it was finished, like, I don't know, January last year or something crazy like that. It was yeah. finished a long time ago. Yeah, that was another yeah. sweater you and I did in just a couple mm-hmm. weeks. Yeah, it was super fast. It was a quick one. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Was fun. Oh, no, and I can't remember if I'm on a, I don't think I'm on a decrease row. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over here. I'm talking. I'm talking. So this is the third installment it's so cute. I love the br- strong contrast on this, it. This is nice. the third Knitspiration hat. Um, this is my last one for right now. Though I have enough um, leftover worsted weight that I'm considering making one for myself using mm, nice. some of the various oh, that'd be fun. leftovers that I have. So I thought that might be kind of fun. Um, so just in the crown decreases now. And then that one is done. And... I was telling Kelly I'm having a little bit of a, like, I don't know what I want to knit next mm-hmm. moment. Yep. So, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. So, I am, um, I won't show you Quill because it really hasn't changed much <laughs> since the last time. It's still an oatmeal rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I haven't gotten too far on my little twigs sweater but this is the um the waistband well yeah i guess the ribbing at the bottom of the sweater um so i'm almost uh where i need to be for that and then i'll switch to i'm on fives i'll switch to size seven needles and then i can just knit up until the underarms um so that'll be good cool and then um the only other thing only other thing I mentioned it last oh, time. It's a meerkat down. It's a meerkat landslide. Um, I mentioned it last time, but I hadn't started it. But um, I've actually been working on a swatch for the fusion sweater, which I had mentioned that I was um, I had seen and I thought was really cool. So of course I swatch for it. But I um, I picked. There these are all the same colors, but I just changed them in in the order of how they were so that's the first one that I did um and I, th- I I think that's the one I'm leaning towards but you guys can obviously weigh in and let me know which one you like um so this is knit with Quince and Co Chickadee um so that's the first one so number one and then that's number two so I think, I think they play so differently on the screen they do I know so, I don't know. I still think I still like the top one. Yeah, yeah. I still like. I think I like that one. I think. Hey, that's you're the one that you're yeah, the right, one that's gonna wear it. And then there's um there's a little seed stitch stock in it portion too. So I swatched that just so I can double check it. So I did knit it in the round. I actually knit it on um, the 12 inch circulars, and I'm right now doing. You can see this this line of orange. I'm crocheting up so that I can steek it because I'm going to steek it and block it, um, measure my gauge. I'll be able to, you know, look at the pattern a little bit better too. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Nice. Cause the sweater, you actually, you do steek the sweater. Mm-hmm. Um, it's knit in the round and then you, uh, cut it. Kelly and I both eyeballed that sweater. Yeah. Oh, let me see. I think this is how picture of the whole thing on it. I don't know if it does or not. There's just been like a flood of really cool patterns getting released yeah. lately. Color work and otherwise. Oh, there's sort of a picture on here that you can see. But if you go to the page on Ravelry, um, it's got this a nice square neckline. Um, just a pretty cardigan and then it's got pico edge all the, on all the edges. So it's really pretty. So yeah, it's got um, the color work on the cuff on the on the armband, and then it's got it around the bottom part of the sweater. And the rest, uh, you do that that seed stitch stockinette, she calls it, um, because it's not all over seed stitch. It's just kind of bits and of it here and there. So um, so that has regular texture, but but not a lot of texture, which is kind of neat. 
Um, so yeah, kind of like the swag. Yeah. That had a texture, little cable stitch to it. That was actually kind of fun once you got in the rhythm of it. Yeah. So um, the main body of the sweater is this one, um, which this is, I don't know how you pronounce it, Audouin? A-U-D-O-U-I-N. They're named after owls, so maybe Angela can tell us. Probably Audouin. Um, so that. Is how it's what test. it is. Yeah. It's a test. So that's my main. And then I am using um, twig and chanterelle and smoke, which is kind of blue. It's hard to tell on there, but it's kind of a really deep blue. And damson, which is a deep purple. Yes. And petal, which is a really soft, soft light pink. And then the one I'm doing my crocheting with is Fox. Nice. So those are all the colors that are in there. So it's very subdued, but I like it. And it's so funny. So when I was sitting down and putting all the colors together, this is the one that I thought I was going to like the most. But I think it's going to be dark. And I don't know if I want it that dark. Although then because the rest of the sweater is light, it kind of is nice. Whereas this one, you know, the petal is going to be right next to... Mm -hmm. the main color so there's not going to be a lot of differentiation there but I still I think this one because I, I think it sets the motif out more makes it pop more mm -hmm. I think I kind of like that one but then my main color my my pop color which is the fox doesn't pop as much not as much nope and I actually had thought about pulling um They've got a really pretty color called Boss, which is a green. Green, yeah. Um, and maybe putting that in instead so that it would mm. pop more. I don't know. It would be kind of cool. Yeah, so I might play with it a little bit more. Guess what? More swatching! Good thing Kelly loves swatching. <laughs> but see how fun it is? It can be fun. I can play with all the fun <laughs> colors. And look, I'm using my giant bag that my mom made me because nice. there's a lot going to be a lot of skeins of yarn in it. Although once I'm done the color work, then you don't use that much because no. it's just on that the bottom the bottom part band right? and, and then on the, the cuffs. cuffs. Yeah. yeah. So. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 So yep. those are all the things that I've been working on, which are not many things, but you know, yes. been finishing some customer projects and. Doing lots of private lessons at the store. Yeah. A lot of people eager to finish things off or in time for Christmas. And yep. I know. I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm almost done with this hat. Excellent. Yes. So, I'm pretty excited. We've got our uh, Muscle of Yarn holiday party on Saturday. Mm -hmm. That will be fun. It's it's just us ladies. Just the ladies. We didn't invite um, partners and kids and stuff. So nope. It's just gonna be the ladies sitting around knitting, knitting, enjoying some wine and grown up snacks time. and be like a grown up knit group. Grown up time. <laughs> grown up time. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I think Ange was a driving factor. She's like. Quiet. I know. I feel like I'm not gonna be upset if it's no family and kids. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> I was surprised though at how fast everybody else was like, "Sure, that sounds good." <laughs> no problem. It is kind of nice because you know, around the holidays, you're you do so much for everybody else that it's good to yeah. take a few minutes to you know take care of yourself too. Yep. So absolutely, and take a breath and. Just be like, okay. Mm hmm So I think it, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. It'll be good. We've got such awesome people that we work with that it's just so much fun. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, so what else do we got going on? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's the holidays, yo. <laughs> it's the holidays. <laughs> it's like. I don't know. I'm just taking it one day at a time. Um, we have the we have a discount code for that um, 
shawl pattern. Awesome shawl pattern. So, yeah, yeah Perry actually extended it because I was so lax in <laughs> And getting the coat out to you, wonderful people. Um, she was so sweet and said that we, um, the coat, she extended the coat so it's good through the end of March, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's given us a separate code we're not going to tell you about. For anybody who's coming to the retreat, you guys are going to get um, a nice discount off of her patterns as well. So that's nice. exciting. So if you're coming to the retreat. Awesome. Um, and that code is MLY20. Yep. It's 20% off her Feel of the Wind on Water shawl pattern. Yep. And yep. that's in LinkedIn show notes. So you can just click right through um, mm-hmm. to find that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then use the code that's in show notes. Um, so thank you, Paige. Yes. Thank you. And we also. Um, the lovely ladies at Nomadic Knits. Mm-hmm. Um, so we get the Nomadic Knits magazine, mm-hmm. um, which the they just one. released their second, which New is New York. York. Um, we They kindly gave us um, a code for a digital download Ooh. that we are um, going to give away to one of you lucky people. Cool. So I don't know when we're going to do that, but we do have the code. Um, okay. That we can use. We can maybe use it for one of our knit along prizes or something. Yeah. Or yep. Yeah. That would be a great one. Yeah. So, um, so that's awesome. So thank you, yeah. ladies nice. and um, Melissa and Becky. Um, There's a lot of really cool patterns in oh the my gosh. New York. The, the they did. Yeah, one. they did. Uh, I know. I think I'm gonna get it. Um, a couple of them for gifts for people. Um, because they are really lovely. Yeah. Um, and uh, what else we got we, uh, if you're a long time viewer of the podcast you know we always have tons of knit alongs going <laughs> and by we I mean me because <laughs> I apparently don't have anything else to do except create knit alongs and then not participate in most of them <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed me sitting back and be like you have fun with that Ange <laughs> My favorite ever was the, on the Spice Market Cow. We had kits made. We did the whole nine yards. Do you think Kelly and I could participate in our own knit along? I know. Nope. I even nope. bought one of the kits, but then nope. I ended up using some of it in my changes shawl. <laughs> Which I definitely, you know, I, I really, I think I'm going to pick that back That's, up. I kept, I'd um, say, I was thinking that too. After I get um, some sweater knitting finished up. Or okay. maybe because I've been knitting a lot of gray and natural colors, maybe I'll just pick that up in between and work on that. I was, um, I stalled, I want to knit the Descent sweater. Descent. Descent. So it, so for anybody who's new to the podcast, I, I'm a lawyer. That's what I do for my day job. Oh, I think, did you tell me about this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so I tend to follow stuff that's going on in the court here locally, nationally, like just because it's what I do. Yeah. And for those of you that aren't aware, Ruth Bader Ginsburg is one of, she's uh, one of our Supreme, U.S. Supreme Court justices, um, just all around sort of wicked smart lady and um, pretty badass. I'm not even going to bleep that out. Sorry. <laughs> you know, sorry. Uh, so when she's delivering um, a dissenting opinion in the Supreme Court, she has a special collar that she wears. Mm-hmm. And it's been called her dissent collar. Oh, and so... An entire sweater was designed. Okay. With that motif okay. of color work into the yoke of the sweater. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, as a homage to Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Okay. So, I want to knit that. Cool. But I, have, I feel like I need to pick out special yarn for it. So. To pay it proper homage. Exactly. As well. Exactly. Gotcha. So. So anyway, that's uh, that's one of the sweaters I'm about. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I was thinking a worsted weight. It's a worsted weight sweater. Okay. But I was thinking I have some of um, Christie's uh, Twinkle Toes or Sparkle Base mm-hmm. in like a gray silvery. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking about holding it. That's only DK weight though, right? Two fingering weight strands. It's about DK weight. DK. But you could always knit it at the same gauge and just have it be a little bit more open. So it wouldn't mm-hmm. be a really heavy sweater. And here's the here's where Kelly says, check your gauge. 
start substituting yarns that aren't the same way. Joke and great. Um, so I don't know, because I just thought that might be kind of cool. The sparkles, but I don't know. Maybe I'll hold a strand of drizzle or, mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm still thinking, mm-hmm. trying to figure out what I want to do. Fuzzy and hot. Maybe so you I'll wouldn't do, be able to wear it in the court because you'd be like... Sparkle. Maybe I'll make it sparkle fuzzy. Sparkle and fuzzy. And I'll hold three strands of yarn together. <laughs> it's like, now you're just getting ridiculous. <laughs> Don't you come crying to me. <laughs> when it doesn't work and you have to pull out mohair. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? What could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Um, and then I was also considering uh, just emailing Christy at Fiber Stash mm-hmm. with a pattern and being like, um, so you want to do a custom dye for oh, me? she totally would. And, uh, and I don't know what colors. Do you want to surprise me? Like, because I totally would trust what she would. Yeah, I know. She's got such good color sense. I mean, you could kind of give her some direction, but and she knows you too, so she kind of yeah. knows like yeah. the colors you lean towards. So, yeah. so because um. it's just a two-color, it's just a two-color sweater. Here, okay, so now I've oh, spent so okay. much time yeah, talking about this. Let me pull it up so so you guys can see this. I think she would dig that. I I think she would too. Especially um, now she's got her new studio space. I know. I know. Why am I looking in this? Why should just go to my favorites? Because that's where it is. So that's... Oh, I do remember seeing that. Yes. That's right. So there's that one and then the other um, sample. And that's really lovely, too. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, you could do some fun stuff with that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. so maybe I'll go for that option. And it would be kind of cool to have, like, a solid or semi-solid for the body and then do, you know, some Something. sort of variegated or, you know, mm-hmm. kettle-dyed type yarn, mm-hmm. hand-painted type yarn yep. for the color work portion because it would look just really lovely. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I like it. I yeah, like but as also I was considering some sort of really dark, like either really deep dark purple like this mm-hmm. color, or almost black for the body, so that just color would just it. It'll yeah. look like stained glass almost. almost, and it'll look like kind of her robes because they yeah. do the yeah, yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah, so I should probably send Christy an email. I don't know if she watched the podcast. She'll probably like get an email from her. Probably She'll when like, she has some time, but yeah, like all of us, like this time of year is. But, yeah. A little crazy. So, anyway, stay tuned. Cool. <laughs> See how much trouble I can get myself into. Um, right. if, if yarn's involved, probably mm-hmm. quite a bit. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Jeez. Wah, wah. Yeah, so we have a few new things in store. I mentioned the Wing and a Prayer Farm right there. Taconic Twist. Um, and the Hayden and Olivia. Um, so we've got those. And um, on the last podcast, I think I even said it wrong. Um, the Kingdom Fleece and Fiber Works. I think I said Vermont something or other. But it's Kingdom Fleece and Fiber Works. We've got um, a bunch of yarn that she hand dyed. But awesome. she also has um, a fiber mill where she can process through um, roving. Okay, because um, we have a bunch of roving. Yeah, so too. we've just yeah. got a bunch of roving. Um, I don't have it online just because she's got a lot of different colorways and a lot of different bases. So um, right now I'm only going to have it available just to, for in-store. Um, but if you're local, you should come in and check it out because there's some really, really fun stuff. Mm. If you're a spinner or um, for knitters, we do have the the yarn, and she's got a lot of different bases. Cool. Um, so she kind of brought a little bit of everything so that we could, people could kind of try out it. some of the different different stuff um so you should definitely come in and check it out or if you need a gift for that special knitter or spinner in your life um that's a i just wanted to mention that to you because liz is awesome she's really sweet and um and we're happy to have her her yarn and fiber in the store cool and of course wing and a prayer farm too we're happy to love to restock on tammy's yarns when we can oh yeah stuff's awesome um, we've got the naturally dyed 
colors there. Um, and we got a bunch of new yarns from Yellow Dog, and Andrea did this really fun rainbow. You can kind of see it behind Ange, um, where it just it just <laughs> kind of goes in and out of the rainbow. It's it, that wall is amazingly bright and colorful. I love it. It's so it makes me so happy. Yeah, makes yeah. me so happy. So we've got oh we got the new pom poms in too. <gasps> Ooh. Did you oh, see those I on did the counter? See They're those. so fun. Um, so those are right now are just in store too because I just had her send us an assortment. Um, but they're great. They've got snaps on them. Um, so if you're snaps local are too, awesome. Or if you're looking for something in particular, pop us an email or give us a call um, because we can we can always send you some pictures of what we do have um, mm-hmm. if you're interested, and then we can um, get it off in the mail to you. But today is the last day for shipping stuff. So if you haven't bought your stuff now, it won't be there in time. Unless you just want a gift card. Yeah, gift cards. So the gift cards are digital. So if you go online to get a gift card for somebody, um, they're instant. You get an email back with the gift card inside the email. So. Yep. Yep, yep. Um, I was going to say something and it just, (laughs) that it went. And I can't, it had something to do with not wanting to interrupt Kelly while she was talking. <laughs> you totally can. Mm-hmm. It's something to do with new in store or yarns or, imagine that on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's surprising. Oh, I'm surprised by that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that was. It'll come to her as soon as we push the off button. Yeah, and I'll be like, no, that's what I wanted to say. Oh, I okay. Now I know. Back it came. Yay. Uh, so for everybody that participated in the mitten tree and oh, donated yeah. all of the um, hats and mittens and mm-hmm. scarves and cowls and other things into the store, we uh, did get those off to cots, um, the rest of them off to cots. And um, we know they'll be put to good use. Yeah. So I bet thank you, everybody. To have those, yes. So. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Awesome. So so that has been done. Delivered. 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 Um, so yeah. Good. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Good. Yep. And uh, I think we're pretty much scheduled. I think to podcast normal time. Mm-mm. Not next week. Mm-mm. No. Okay. No, we have to talk about that. Okay. Um. So next week, um, we either have to pick a different day, or we may not be showing up. So <laughs> it's gonna depend a little oh. bit. Okay. We can chat off camera. Yeah. So well, okay. we just have um, we won't have somebody here during Thursday. So. Oh. Okay. Um. So we just have to figure that out. But if we don't come to you next week. Don't panic. Don't panic. Everything's fine. Yeah, it's just schedules and holidays, and yeah. we couldn't make it happen. Yep. So, <laughs> it got really cloudy here, so it's kind of dark. Yeah, it did get dark. Um, all right, I'll go turn it on because we're almost done anyway. We are. Yep. We are wrapping up. Yeah. Because that has that much knitting. <laughs> I've been trying to be good and not do, like, too much, like, on that for a little while and then take a break, so. Oh, that's good. Me, on the other hand. <laughs> I figured it was it was the least I could do if I'm not wearing my... Well, yeah, there's that. Brace. Do you wear it at night? Totally derailing this conversation. I'm supposed to. I was supposed to say that's... But it's so hard to sleep with. Yeah. I wake up and my hand is just like throbbing and I can and so I don't sleep really restfully so usually about two o'clock in the morning I, I go like, and of ah. course I wake <laughs> wake everybody up ripping it off and I like wing it across the room <laughs> like enough I can't take it anymore yeah I mean I have a hard time sleeping with like rings and watches and anything on I like everything well except for my um my wedding rings but I've been wearing those now for 15 years, so those are fine. Pretty but used to them by now. Anything else, I take yeah. take off because it, it bothers me while I'm sleeping. So nice. Yeah. Yep. So I may have to like suck it up and deal with it when I 
Well, when you get the bad news in January. <laughs> I know. When they're like, you need to stop doing everything. Stop. You're like, it's okay. I got all my year-end stuff done. We're fine. We're cool. It's cool. I know. Totally cool. Inventory day will be like my last day of freedom. Gosh. And then go. Yeah. Yeah, because we, we all come in on New Year's Day to do inventory, and we all complain and kvetch, you know, and then Kelly has to remind us, like, okay, so now my work is just beginning because <laughs> I've got to go back and fix all the inventory stuff. And we're like, oh, right. <laughs> okay, never mind, we're cool. <laughs> but anyway, Dang. all right. So I guess stay tuned about next week. Yeah, we'll we'll try our hardest to sort something out. Yeah. Look, a hat. Yay, look at you Yay. go. Wah, wah. You have another FO you can add to the list. <laughs> FO on the show. FO, FO. FO for you. FO for you. Everyone gets an FO. Oh, wait, that's a different show. Right. <laughs> it's not our show. Sounds bad, too, when you say it like that. Everybody gets an FO? Yeah. Oh, okay. FOs all around. Alrighty. I should measure this. I wonder if I'm not, I'm not quite. Probably have another couple of rows to, rounds to do. Then I can switch to my other needles. Wow. Well, all right. Shall we shine? Shine dish one off. Shine, shine it off. Shine dish one off. Shine it off. We can. Yeah. Since we probably have lots of stuff, and you're going to have to go flying out of here soon. Oh, yeah. Yep, I am. Yes, yes. So, thank you, everybody, yes. for hanging out with us this week. Um, and if you celebrate Christmas or Kwanzaa, which is coming right up, too, um, we hope you have um, a very happy holiday, whatever mm -hmm. you do celebrate. Yep. Festivus for the rest of us. Festivus. <laughs> So many people don't know Seinfeld references. Anymore, I know. So. I've been fine. I've been finding that out. Um, it's very disappointing. Yeah. Or a sign of how old I am. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, yeah, exactly. It's it, it just ages us now. It might actually be that one. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, we uh, hope you have a great weekend too. Yes. Um, we hope you get some time off mm -hmm. and get to enjoy into your time and with family. your fam family and friends. Yeah. 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 We're going to on Saturday. We're going to yeah. enjoy our time together for a few hours even. Yes. And, uh, but we'll try to catch up with you next week. But if yeah. you don't, we don't, don't worry. We'll, we'll try to be back the following week. We may have to chat about that week too. Oh, that's right. Cause that's going to be a crazy week for you. Yeah. Okay. Get a little interesting. That's right. You, you were telling me about all the stuff you've got coming yep. up. So, yeah. So don't worry. Right. We're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> we may just have a little kerf kerflups with our timing and what yeah. we're able to do. But yeah. we'll, 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 get, we'll get back to you. We will. We will. Don't worry. Yeah. We might have to film from the craft bunker on a Sunday and then post it <laughs> the next Friday. We'll figure something yeah. out. We'll, we'll figure it we'll out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. So. All right. All right. Till we see you again. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye broken the meerkats and knitting needle sticks. No, poor meerkats. I know. We're getting too many. Why am I off the screen? I don't know what's going on with the camera today. It's really close to us. Is that? Ooh. Earthquake. Yeah, it's closer than it okay. usually is there. That's a Hello, bad. little meerkat. Are you Yoda or are you? <laughs> yeah, I don't know which one's which. Which one's which? The twins. What are they? Yoda and what's the other one? Uh, I'm told this, but I can't remember. Shoot. Here, I could probably look on the Instagram post because I think I put it on the Instagram post. La la la. Those two are looking at something. I know. Over there. La la lu. Nope, haven't been listening, watching Dinosaur Train with my kids at all. <laughs> and you're welcome, everybody. <laughs> If you know what that is. Sean and Yoda. Sean and Yoda. Oh, right. Sean the sheep. Sean the sheep. That's, That's what it was. It. I have a Sean the sheep stuffed animal. Do you? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Look. I know. I saw that. Crossword. You know, isn't that funny? That's funny. Poopy the meerkat. I wonder what Poopy the meerkat thinks when MLY Gage meerkat likes their posts. <laughs> 
So oh, everybody yeah. seems to like the new, like, just Kelly and Ange chitter chattering for 20 minutes or whatever. <laughs> so should probably just run with it. Okay. I guess. It's really pretty today. It, it does not feel is. like December at all. No, no, because it's kind of warmed up a little bit out there. Yeah. It's supposed to be like 50 tomorrow. That's so weird. It is. I is don't that, think we're going to have Did a you st- what? Oh, is that your, just your swatch? This is my swatch. Oh, okay. I was like, Whoa. I did a color sample, so that's one. Yeah. And then I changed it and did that one. Oh. Hmm. I won't tell you which one I like until you tell me which one you like. Let me see the other one again. I think I like that one. This one? Yeah. I don't know why. So it's funny. So this is the original one, that I, the color that I thought I was going to go with, but just as I was getting ready to cast on, I was like, oh, I don't want to, I'm going to try it this way. And that see. one's nice, too. I don't know. Hmm. I'll show everybody. They yeah. can tell me which one they like. I but think I'm they, speak it, so. they catch your eye differently. Yeah. Right? So this one, this part here pops mm-hmm. more, whereas this one, this part's more subtle, and this pops more. Yeah. So I guess it depends on which of those you want. Yeah to focus on or want the well, eye to focus on? Well, when I cut on? it so that you can see kind of the whole repeat, yeah. it'll make a little bit of a difference, but it was funny. I thought this is the one that I was going to like more, but I then I, I after I, because when I did this one, I was like, oh, I don't know. You know, you kind of lose some of the definition in this section, mm-hmm. but then this one, because that's so much lighter than the other colors, mm-hmm. it's just like, Phew. so, I don't know. Tough, that, that would be a tough call. Yeah. Hmm. I, don't know. I don't know. Meanwhile, over in, like, can't figure out what she wants to knit next land. <laughs> I might have signed up for a couple of things. Oh. I need to stop reading the Indie Untangled oh. um, newsletter emails. Mm-hmm. I may or may not have purchased the Harry Potter one-off club. Oh, really? I didn't even see it. I don't, do you want me to show you? <laughs> <laughs> you me, you're like, no. I'm not going to buy it, so, uh, you know, you can show me if you want to. I don't care. It was stripey, stripey yarn and um, uh, a Harry Potter bag and a couple oh, of, cool. like, Harry Potter uh, yarn contain. you know, the things that go around the elastics or whatever oh yeah called. like the cozies cozies yeah that thing and um i might have deleted the email because i was like get out of my inbox <laughs> like, yeah sometimes i'm really good at like keeping up with all of the i just emails this time of year though I, from all of the different companies that you might get emails from you get inundated so the other thing i signed up for is the indie untangled where we knit yarn club Oh yeah. So it's yep. quarterly. I, I start. I have to actually say I started with the um, Countess of Blaze was doing really? the club. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember what her, what she called hers, but it was basically you know like bad women in history or something was like yeah. the theme kind of or descent. Actually, it was like yarn smugglers or something. It was it was something very clever and. It caught my attention, and yeah. I went out, and I was like, oh, that price isn't bad. That's And I thought about it, and like, oh, maybe I'll do the six-month subscription. So it's like, you know, it spreads it out a little bit. Yeah. And then right before I was getting ready to hit, like, purchase, I went, oh, wait. That's British pounds, not American dollars. What is the exchange rate? And I went <laughs> out and checked the exchange rate, and I was like, oh, yeah, not doing that. Because <laughs> it's like one and a half or like one. Yeah. Point three. It's like 1.3. That's yeah. what it was when we were over there, yeah. And so when I did that math, I was like, oh, yeah, no, I'm not going to do I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. So then I went back and I continued to read the email cause, and almost fell down the rabbit hole for the National Park yarn. Oh, cause yeah. Because the one this month is for Crater Lake. Uh-huh. And it was beautiful. But I was like, you do not need more fingering weight yarn. Like, what are you doing? Like, get, at, get off right the now. internet. Um. But I did end up signing up for the Indie Untangled one because it's for, you can pay f- quarterly yeah. for it. So that kind of spreads it out a little bit. Yeah. And the design, they had the list of the designers and the um, the yarn, people mm-hmm. that were doing the yarn. 
and it was very intriguing to me and I may or may not have signed up because the last installation is Mina Phillip and Fuse Fiber and so oh, I was cool. like oh I want to that's a great on combination that. I know with Mina's I mean she's so talented designer and I know. Fuse she's and been she's doing her fabulous dyeing yeah um that's is cool. amazing but I was going to see if I can find the Harry Potter one to show you because it was really cool um and then I'm going to stop reading her emails because I was like stop buying yarn <laughs> jeez Mm. Holy smokes, crazy lady. Um, where's your blog? I think it starts on the blog. I don't know. I get the... E- so Count as a Blaze. Oh, it's called the Yarn Cartel. Oh, I did see that. All right. So here's... it's the, the other one is the Sorting Hat Kit. So one sock, wonder bags. Um, oh, that's cute. The Yarn Wart School of Fibercraft and Yarnery. So string three color works and a cordain mini skein. skein. Oh my um, god, that's hilarious. Sheep enamel pins, sorting hat and yarn quidditch yarn sheep squeezes. <laughs> so I was like, I'm like, really? How can I? I can't not walk that's really cute. away from that. Um, so that was cool. The Crater Lake colorway, I'm still... I'm still side eye side eyeing that because it was so beautiful, mm. <laughs> and that's that's where that's that I that's where I grew up yeah. out there. So that's like my knitting the national parks and all the money. Yeah. So this is the yarn I'm talking about, guys. She did like a mohair and this really beautiful. Um, it's a single ply, and for anybody who does not familiar with Crater Lake, that's the inspiration picture she used. That's cool. Um, so it's it's beautiful, but yeah, I was like, I don't need more. I don't need more of any of that yarn. <laughs> yeah. None of it. None of it. So those were my um, my acquisitions, which I won't actually have till like January or February, I think, which is fine because they'll show up later, and I'll be like, oh, what's this? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Be like Christmas all over again. I know. It's awesome. From your schedule that you have, it sounds like you're going to need a little pick-me-up in January. I know. I'm going to have to put in a big order of uh, wink wine. So I have plenty of wine (laughs) supplies. Mm. It's ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. I'm almost done with this hat, too. I'm super excited. I don't know what I'm going to... Actually... As soon as That's I get pretty. Hey, it's the third, the third inspiration hat. Cute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that the one that William is having you knit for his dad? Mm-hmm. 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 Nice. Yeah. And then I'm all done with Christmas knitting. Fantastic. I know. I can do any Christmas And this knitting. one does not need a pom-pom, so <laughs> no pom-poms to be had for this one. Jamie count. I should have brought my crochet hook over and I could have done the crochet steaks. Oh, I've got a little one. I can use that. Oh, I've got a fix it tool over here. I just bought That's what, yeah, I was going to say I've got one of those. That's what I can use. Because I was going to put some fringe on. Wait for it. One, two, three, four, five, I'm waiting. Six. <laughs> Hang on. Hold that thought. I'm still waiting. <laughs> She's still waiting, guys. It needs fringe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like, what? Oh. You're like, what is that? Don't you think Gage needs a proper scarf? Proper scarf. I'm not sure it's long enough. What? Yeah, it'll be fine. You don't think so? I think it'll be fine. I think it's fine. I think stuffed animals have deceptively large necks. That's what I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's fine in this, especially with fringe with on fringe. there. Yeah, okay. Totally fine. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Totally fine, except her hat fell off. So she needs a hat too. She's in Vermont. I mean, I did. I that's so funny. It has a jingle bell on it. It's awesome. Oh, you didn't know that? No, I didn't. Jingle bell. There. See. Yep. Definitely needs the fringe. Needs fringe. Yep. Yep. So, 
I picked up a multi-tool because I don't have a crochet. I know it's going to surprise everybody, but I don't have a crochet hook with me. <laughs> well, you can never have enough of the multi-tools Wow, well, that's kind of what I, tools. What Those I are great things. I figured. I actually don't have one of these. They're great. Oh. Whoop. Crochet hook at one hand, pointer at the other. Mm -hmm. They are great for picking up drop stitches or yep. fixing stuff. Oh, and cable needle, too. Oh, I should show you this. Super fun. I should show you the custom customer project that I fixed uh -oh. last week. Oh, little yarn ball. Alright, your yarn ball is going to sit right there. You fixed somebody's project last oh week? Oh my goodness, it's this giant Afghan throw. Oh, was that the cable throw? That's the, I saw that one. When yeah. I was here last week, no, I don't think size it's, 50 needles. Yeah, I don't think you'd started it yet. <laughs> yeah, she had um, crossed the cable wrong, so I Ugh. dropped down and fixed the cable and then worked it back up. I should probably get my scissors if I'm going to do this. It convinced me that I was correct and never wanting to knit on size 50 needles. I, I saw that and I was like, what? Uh, okay. No, I mean, I guess it's a quick project Just and. Confirmed that for me. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it's. Hey, some people I th are cool with it. I. I think. Not my, my best thing. thing ever. I think it would hurt my hands. I've got to order more of those. That's what I would. Th that's what I would think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even like size 15, 13s and 15s bother my hands knitting with those. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Do, do, do. I'm going to knit around here, and then I'm going to bind off, and then I'm going to crochet and steek. Uh -oh. I got one through. Yeah, they're both there. This is how I make a whole bunch of mess. I just leave ends, and then I come back with the scissors, and I have little pieces of yarn everywhere. I'm gonna put them all on and then I can cut them off. Probably with some bigger scissors because these will take forever. <laughs> and the fringe actually doesn't have to be as long, that long. Mm -mm. Despite the length of the yarn that I am currently cutting this at. Don't mind me. Nothing to see here, folks. It's just me. It's just the me that you all know and love over here. It's so funny. So I was teaching this private lesson this morning with this awesome customer. She's so sweet. Um, she, I was, I was helping, I was working on her project, kind of fixing some stuff, moving some stitches around. And I was kind of talking to it as I did. She's like, do you always talk to your knitting projects? I'm like, yes. And I'm like, you should I have heard to, her I talk talking to my mesh when I messed mess that up. I'm like, I talk to I talk to my knitting projects all the time. And I'm like, I just talk to myself all the time. And I was like, there's that. <laughs> she's like, oh, she's like, I, I get it. She's like, when I'm at home, she's like, you know, I talk to my cats. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I, I don't feel so bad when I'm at home because I at least have the dogs and the cats to talk the to. So, there, so it's, I don't yeah. feel like I'm just, you know, talking to yourself. Talking, but sometimes you just kind of talk yourself through stuff. So. There's usually lots of swearing when I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I mutter under my breath. I figure I'm not being as quiet as I think I am when I hear my kids start to repeat back some of the things I've said. And I'm like, yeah. ooh, ooh. Yeah. You can hear me. <laughs> oh, so when I tell you to go clean your room, <laughs> you actually do hear me. Stinkers. <gasps> that's so funny. Selective hearing. Selective hearing. That's what that's mm -hmm. called. I know. I've been very quiet on Instagram. I think the last thing I posted was that stupid two, two knives thing. That was last week. I haven't posted anything in quite a while either. Well, I got a whole bunch of stuff, knitting stuff finished. And I had to mail it all off. So I don't have it to show. The, um, oh, that's right. I f did decide to put tassels and... Um, oh, on the hat? On the hat. Cute. Um, I think... I haven't even posted the. I took pictures of them, and I haven't even posted them out on Instagram. I put them on my project page. At least got that far. But does that look awesome with the tassels? Oh, it's so the, cute. Oh, I like tassels. how the pooling came out. That's cute. 
so that got that got sent off and I'm happy to report I got the button sewn on the little dress and I think those turned out oh, yeah, were cute. Yeah, really cute sweet. on that mm-hmm. um, well on the bonnet I showed I just had to weave in those two ends mm-hmm. and I finished the ruffle skirt oh my gosh a ruffle skirt. Yeah, somebody um, who had seen you working on the, on the podcast asked if we had kits for it. No, oh, we don't have that. Unfortunately, yarn. I know we don't have the little ruffle yarn. So you can um, you can buy the ruffle yarn on Amazon, which is okay. It's it, can you? Yeah, I didn't. I haven't. Looked, I don't think you can get it at Michaels or. They AC had it anymore. for what was it? A few years ago, yeah. when it was really really popular. Um, I've only been able to find it recently on on Amazon. Yeah. So. I know, the skirts, they're cute, and they're pretty quick. Mm-hmm. I'd say the only, the sort of the fiddliest thing about them is uh, the elastic, because mm. you do put an elastic waist in. Yeah. Um, so sewing down the casing for where the elastic's going to go, and then putting the elastic in, which is, it's not actually that bad. But, mm-hmm. uh, Probably just a little fussy. It's a little fussy. I'll trim it off and it'll be fine. Oh, that's so cute. It's kind of sloppy. Oh, well. It's just for a stuffed animal. (laughs) At some point here. (laughs) There's only really so much. Yep. Boop-a-doo, 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 boop. time of year is so fun because you know you get together with a lot of people that you may not necessarily see all year round but it's also like really fills up your schedule yeah too with a lot of other stuff that you know serves off your whole routine I know and I would say normally like people tend to be in a little bit better of a mood but I don't think so this year although since we've had today and yesterday we're both really sunny people have been I think that helps I mean it, it definitely changed my mood I was it was much easier for me to get out of bed this morning and be like oh look the sun's up or actually it wasn't up when I got I up to say, it's dark when I get up <laughs> yeah it was a couple hours before the sun was actually up when I was up but you know I knew that it was going to be sunny so yeah that's true I'm actually glad it warmed up because I had to take my take my sweater off it's making my arm itch oh yeah weird Like, I was driving and I had to like take my coat off while I was driving to take the that of the sweater off because I was, it was so itchy. That's so weird. It's weird. Super weird. So it's not, but it's not a wool allergy because I have not had any issues with scarves or yeah hats or anything else. It's yeah. just. Do you have like a dry patch or some oh, something I that's? I knew you said that you were oh, getting yeah okay. that won't quite go away. Hmm. So. I think it's partially tied to some some other stuff, but yeah, partially stress and yeah. So yep. Anyway, so that was super fun. I had a moment where I was like, oh, don't tell me I can't wear wool sweater. It's <laughs> gonna be terrible. <laughs> And I was like, your other arm's not itchy. Calm down. <laughs> it's just that one arm. Yeah, you're not breaking out all over. And no. Yeah. No. All right. Calm down. Step away from the edge. The orange to crochet my shtick. Nice. Since that one you only get, since that one's going to be my... You know what we have not there. done in a while that we should do? What? Which would be like, good luck trying to find a time to do that. <laughs> so we should do another YouTube Live. We haven't done one of those in a really long time. Yeah, we haven't. Probably not since like last New Year's Eve. Probably not. But the last not. one we did? Uh, yeah, probably. We had some issues with video, so... Yeah, the streaming and... Because we were at the... Craft bunker. Right. Right. Done. Multi tool. Does this one fit in here? Yeah. 
They do. You have to put them in kitty corner, but they do. I just wonder if it's going to fit with my other... Oh yeah, I can just sit right on top of it. Surprisingly, they do. Because we put those in the little oh, yeah. the ones one. that we... I don't know. This... Mine's... If we apparently pulled on it too much, it pops out. Oh, they do sometimes, but... All right. Should I trim this with my little scissors, or should I wait till I have big scissors? Um, y you can do. Whatever you, Kelly's like you, you can want. do whatever you want. <laughs> Why are you asking me? You don't need permission to <laughs> cut fringe. Sure, I do. Just having a conversation with myself. Don't mind me. <laughs> don't mind me. Don't mind me at all. Okay, I won't. Okay, I'll just sit over here and just do. Just sit over there and do your thing. Do my sticky. <laughs> I made a scarf about like this last year for my kids. Um, his class had a oh, that's right. Lily snowflake stuffed animal that came home with each of the kids, and they had to write stories and stuff. So we made her a scarf, and we put little fringe on it. There. A wee scarf. Wee. A wee, a wee little scarf. There, that's done. <laughs> oh. Are you at a point where we can start the podcast, or should we still yes. continue chitter chattering for a little bit for you? We can. Okay. I mean, I'm going to have to do the same thing when I'm, like, counting on one of my rows where I'm doing decrease from. <laughs> I can switch to some knitting instead. I think if I don't work on this hat, I'm going to have, you know, I'm going to have to pull out of my bag. Foxy. <laughs> Foxy's been living in my bag this whole really? time. Really? Excellent. Yeah. I wonder what shape that's in. I saw somebody's boxy that they finished the other day on Instagram, and it was so pretty. They're so pretty. I know. I, I still, I think I might end up using um, the CC's wool that I got, the mm. worsted weight. I think I'm going to turn that into a worsted boxy. That, that would be pretty. I really do, because I just think that's probably the best use of, use of that beautiful mm. yarn. And it's just so simple, and I think I would get a lot of wear out of it. Yeah. Um, I know. It's so funny, because I did that... Um, Larch sweater, mm -hmm. and when I did it, I was like, "Ah, oh, you know, it's big and boxy. I don't know if I'll wear, wear that time. much. I wear it all the you time. All the time. So, so after that, I was like, because I was convinced I would never like make good use of boxy. Mm -hmm. But then after, um, after making that and knowing how much I wear it, I was just like, hmm. <laughs> Maybe we should do a boxy along. We could do a boxy along. Because there's a lot of different versions, so yeah, people can kind of pick whatever they want to do. The neck the fingering weight, yep. worsted weight. Yep. There's little boxy. I've actually made little boxy. Right. Um, that would be fun. Let well, us know. You guys want to do a boxy along? Yeah. In addition to the 700 other <laughs> alongs that are going currently. <laughs> it's not too many right there's now. There's three. Oh, because the, the holiday, holiday along. along which yeah, is but kind that of one a is pseudo. Yeah, because it's not yeah. like. I, f I finally got the color Palooza thread up. Excellent. I was like, oh, I didn't even put a chatter thread up for that one. <laughs> <laughs> silly me. Yeah. Silly, silly me. Wah, wah. Uh, right. All right. I'm going to put this down. And then we can begin because it's yeah. yeah time where we need to. Time to go. Time to do all things. All right. I'll yeah. start working on this. Look, guys, I'm not wearing my brace. I'm being so bad. But I haven't had my OT appointment yet. I'm never having your cat down. She's know. getting all the knitting before she goes. I know. One that they're like, no more knitting. I know. Yeah, so I'm going in early January. 
in just another two weeks I'm going so you better knit all the things I can't get like anything done without darn brace on so I was like I've got I've too much to do like I've taken it off yeah all right are we ready ready ready